Hello, guys and girls. It's I, Aaron Halo 18 here, and I'm gonna do a video about a movie uh, review, I guess, for the Finding Dory uh, movie that I saw yesterday. Uh, it was a pretty good movie, and uh, I really liked it and enjoyed it for my giving pressure, uh, guys and girls. It was funny and emotional to me anyway. Also, I gave it a 10 out of uh, 10. Uh, the story was pretty good, and it, and it was about uh, Tori finding her parents. I love Pixar-type movies, and go see this movie. Uh, for yourself, uh, my good friends, the uh, Beluga Whale and the Whale Shark uh, were my favorite characters, and I kind of liked uh, the octopus. I almost cried uh, in the movie. Also, I saw it with my dad. Uh, two thumbs up. Uh, best that movie ever, guys and girls. I, I really did see it. It was a pretty good, good movie, even though the ocean kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I still enjoyed the movie. It was very good and Dory has problems with memory loss from the first movie. If she forgets stuff every 10 seconds. It's for something. There are a lot of funny parts in it. And I showed a marine institute uh, place with uh, Sir Gardner Weaver's uh, voice, I guess. And, uh, and uh, I guess Pixar movies are kind of emotional. Uh, they are a little bit. And they even showed Dory with her parents. And, her growing up as a kid and, and all that. And, and of course, they have some screw humor a little bit. But it was still a good movie. I really enjoyed the, the time I had with my dad yesterday. I saw the a theater near me, uh, Foothill Ranch. It's a Regal Cinema Theater, I guess. And uh, I really did like this movie. It was uh, pretty cool and entertaining. and and I uh, found it. It had a little short film before the movie uh, began. It was called Piper. It was sort of the, you know, the Piper birds. So that's a species of bird that lives on the beach or something. And they chase crab like crustacean creatures on the, on the shores and they, they eat clams and, and stuff. And the short was about a baby Piper bird, uh, I, I guess. I guess these cartoons are really well made uh, movies, I guess. So they had a lot of people who made this short. I guess they had a lot of credits and stuff uh, for it. The, the movie is pretty good. Uh, the, the short film, every Pixar movie has a little bit, has a little short film uh, in it, I guess. And I really do like those type of movies. And my dad's not really an animated fan, but I, I like these. I've always liked these uh, type of Shrek uh, like uh, cartoons. I think they're pretty good and, and stuff. I, I really enjoy the movies uh, uh, like this. And I'll continue to do. I haven't done. I, I was supposed to do a review for all the movies that I've seen. Uh, it's, I, I didn't. I haven't done my movie review for Inside Out or. Uh, Frozen or in uh, Independence Day, the new the new one that came out. I should do reviews for those two. And I'm just gonna do a a review on the movie I saw yesterday. And it was about uh, two hours. Um, it's not long or something like that. I guess it's a two-hour movie, I guess. It, it was a pretty good movie. I, I don't know. We can't wait for the, the next movies to come out.
Abdus. I just try to find it. I think I'm missing out the movie. I didn't see how long it was. That movie is an hour and 45 uh, minutes, I guess. You should go see the movie if you've seen um, Fighting Evil. It's the sequel to Fighting Evil. And IMDB gave it a 7.9 out of 10. And Metacritic gave it a 70%, I guess this movie did uh, pretty well in the theater. It's also an action adventure. That movie as well. And the movie made 563.8 million USD. And the directors are Andrew Stanton and Angus McLean. And yes, the movie came out June 17th, 2016. It's, uh, USA. Uh, it says, the description that says, Dory, Alan Generous, is a wide-eyed blue uh, tang fish who suffers from memory loss every 10 seconds or so. The one thing she can remember is that she somehow became separated from her parents as a child with help from her friends Nemo and Marlin. Terry and Marks on an epic adventure to find them. Terry brings her to the Marine Life Institute, a conservatory to house this diverse ocean species. Dory now knows that her family that reunion will only happen if she can save mom and dad from captivity. And the future song of the movie is Unforgettable. And they even gave it critics gave it reviews too. If I already lacks a fresh surprise of its predecessor, it still brings with humor. It's art and animation miracles. I guess people really praised the movie, I guess. But I, I think it's still gonna be better than uh, no, Secret Life of Pets. That, that's another cartoon movie. Yeah, I'm not really into that one though. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I really did enjoy it. Uh, the film. I don't want to spoil it uh, too much uh, for you guys and girls out there. And this is gonna be a take your families to this movie, take your girlfriends to this movie. Do all kinds. Just go see this movie uh, right now if you want to. It was really that good, and I really enjoyed it that much. Sorry, I got a little bit, a little bit silent there. Uh, I was trying to find the information on the movie and I found it. It was, it worked out pretty good. And, uh, this is my first, I've never done a review for an animated movie uh, before. Maybe I did, I don't remember, but, uh, here's my review and my review was pretty good and I, I just really, I can't wait to watch it again. Uh, hopefully my dad will download it by the BitTorrent. Well, one of the BitTorrent websites that he gets movies from. The uh, Yiffy uh, BitTorrent website, I guess. It has like movies and stuff. And he usually goes to the BitTorrent websites. It's our Easy TV and uh, Kickass. Those are websites that he mostly downloads TV shows and uh, movies from. Easy TV is only TV shows, though. Uh, the other two are movies and TV shows and, uh, every, and books and comic books. Then I uh, just try to give you a quick review of the movie and the, the characters were good, the plot was good. It was, it was just a fun summer afternoon uh, movie, uh, I guess. And I like those crude humor type cartoon movies. They're kind of t uh, funny and hilarious. And they even made some of my friends cry, uh, too. 
Cristiano was crying a little bit. Of, and there was no hammerhead shark in the movie. It was a whale uh, shark, not a hammerhead uh, shark. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I guess that he's, he probably saw it with his girlfriend or, or something. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick review. And yeah, it was that good. Go see it. It's it's fun. If you if you're a fan of those kind of movies, uh, that is. And, and uh, I haven't seen Disney uh, movies like this uh, in uh, years, uh, actually. And I'm sorry they enjoyed them again. I know my, my friends enjoyed. Them. I, I watched one of them. I did. Uh, I watched the Zootopia movie with some of my uh, good friends, and that was also a well done movie. I gave. I'll do. I'll talk more about that in my review for that one. Uh, some other, some later date. I don't know when I'll do it. Uh, I kind of lack doing videos a little bit here. Uh, just bear with me if I disappear for a while or something. I'm doing all right. I'm fine. Everything is good. Don't worry about me. And I'm doing well. I just continue to entertain you with my labyrinth. Blabbing on, I, I kind of blab on a little bit too much in the videos. I guess, and even uh, Ghost Robo and his girlfriend saw the movie as well. They liked it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, that's it for now, I guess. I hope you enjoyed my little review uh, here. And uh, oh, and by the way, Ghost Robo is a guy I watched on uh, YouTube. So if I was reading, I was reading some of the Bible. I read chapter or Jeremiah chapter twenty-four through thirty-one, uh, I guess, and uh, it was pretty good. I I enjoyed reading that that book. The Bible is very good and, and stuff, and I am also a Christian movie review kind of guy. And uh, and th there was no gay stuff in this movie. Uh, at all, no lesbian or any of that stuff was ever mentioned in the movie or anything. The just the actor who played Dory is is gay in real life, and uh, but the movie was not. The movie was not gay. It was a it has to be a it's a family oriented movie, so they can't get too far fetched with it. And, I guess the new type of cartoons nowadays are the three D animated films. And uh yeah, as uh, I guess that's it uh, for now on this review and I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it for your viewing pleasure, uh, guys and girls. So please rate, comment, like, favorite, subscribe, uh, view, thoughts and opinions and i hope you like the rest of it and uh stay tuned for more uh guys and girls and like Ghost Robo says please drink some hot chocolate and i'll see you all later and this is aaron hale uh 18 signing off and uh, uh goodbye okay